Adumo. Philadelphia. Beloved in Christ, we thank God Almighty for how far he has brought us. This is the day that the Lord has made for us. And for that matter, we should rejoice and be glad in it. Today is the 28th day of November 2021 and uh, gradually the year is coming to an end. And we Philadelphians, we know that the, the end of everything is the beginning of another. We are now moving to a higher level of the supernatural, the higher level of of the divine realm whereby there's going to be an intercourse between the divinity and humanity today also being another day we know that the voice of god came to us with a word of god uh, a direction or a directive meant for all philadelphians and as such it behoves on us that we try to relay it to you we try to translate it to you and then Break it down for you to be able to absorb and assimilate it wherever you find yourself. On social media, we are also streaming live on YouTube. YouTube, it bears the name of the voice of God, Stephen Adom Chedria. And on Facebook, is Believers Worship Center. You can also enjoy this program and any other program from the comfort of your home on your mobile phone. Yes, the Believers Worship Center mobile app. Download it and then enjoy from the comfort of your home. My name is Maradona. I'm welcome. We are going for a short break. When we come, the program continues. Stay with us and do not move away from your TV. The Lord bless you. Beloved in Christ, you welcome back from the short break. Uh, if you just need to second chance TV, you are watching Learn from the Prophet. We come to you every Sunday after the voice of God, Stephen Adun Chedia, has brought us the undiluted, uh, the unparalleled word of God. So today to... God be so good. We are fortunate to be counted among the living. And for that matter, it behoves on us to listen and learn from his prophet, Stephen Adum uh, We have the panel members with us. We are so fortunate. The Lord himself has granted them uh, life and strength. And so they are here with us in the studio. Uh, so I'll be going to introduce them to you. Then right after that, we give the directives. We give you the information that the voice of God, Stephen Adun Chedia, give to us today. God richly bless you. Invite a friend to also call a friend and then invite a friend that learned from the prophet. It's not live on air. Stay with your, uh, by your TV set and then let's do this together. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to start from direct opposite me. I have uh, Mr. Daniel Kofi Osai. Mr. Daniel Kofi Osai is the senior house master at Kumasi High School. That you're welcome. Thank you, Mr. Marco. I trust you're doing well. Yes, by his grace and mercy. Yeah, we thank God for your life and the life of your family too. And I have Auntie Dorothy Buabin Manu. She is a lecturer at Amsterdam in Kumasi. Yes, sir. <laughs> and you're welcome. Thank you. I like the way you are laughing <laughs> and you are smiling. Yes, mm. yes, yes. Can you share with us why you are so happy today? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I trust you're doing well. My grace of God. Yeah, we well. thank God. We bless God for your life. Uh, <laughs> last week we really missed you. you. See you. I yeah. also missed you people yeah. so much. <laughs> people were asking where is our lecture, and I said it was the the, the uh, main affair, so we should <laughs> let you rest more. <laughs> okay, I have Brother Michael Afoka or Mr. Michael Afoka. He is a disciple and a sound engineer in the house. Uh, brother, you're welcome. Thank you, Mr. Marco. I hope you're also doing well. By the grace of God. Yeah, we thank God. We thank God. Wow. Well, I have realized something. Since they are off, he's the only dark one among us. That's just by the way. Okay. Okay. We thank God. Okay. For your life and for coming to. Yeah. It's such a joy whenever mm -hmm. I see uh -huh. you. Okay. Uh, Brother Michael, since you, you, you are, yes, uh, one among the Lord. Can you lead us in a word of prayer? <laughs> <laughs> Please let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the yes. Lord of Lords, mm -hmm. that who says that I am that I am, mm. the one who has the power to kill and to give life, to wound and to heal, yes, that Lord. no one can take this from you. Mm. We bless your holy name. Mm -hmm. It's our prayer that please take absolute control. The Lord at the end, we shall bless your holy name. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We have prayed. Amen. 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 We, we thank God Almighty. We know that indeed he is the Alpha and Omega. So we began with him and we pray that he continues with us through to the program. Okay. Uh, we know that... Uh, 
the voice of God came to us once again. Today being Sunday, it is an opportunity to listen to words of wisdom, words of inspiration uh, from him. But today is Chindra Matters. That's how he termed it, Chindra Matters. He is cutting across every angle. Now, uh, I always like his uh, introduction. And today, when he had the paper in his hand, he said it, it recorded or brought into memory something that he used to do uh, formerly and previously. So, so I think I'll, I'll allow Mr. Daniel Kofi Osai to touch on it for us because you've been around for some time. Yeah. And most of the times, uh, during moments like this on 31st, now it's when you see him with uh a list or a sheet of paper yeah. what usually uh, <laughs> happened on those nights and then yeah. your expectations too you can tell us more okay yeah. first of all i think we want to send our greetings mm -hmm. to Stephen adum chidia the voice of god yeah, and yeah. also to our fresh queen mother yes or what the fresh and freshest adum <laughs> chidia the first okay yes yeah. We send our felicitations to all of them yes, for yes. giving us this opportunity mm -hmm. and then making us look bright this evening. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Uh, really, as you've said, mm -hmm. it is rare, very, very rare, mm. if I want to retreat, yeah. to see Stephen Adum Chidia, the voice of God, holding a material yeah. to give message mm -hmm. to his congregation. Yeah. Everything comes extempo mm. mm. he never holds any paper yeah so anytime he holds a sheet of paper uh it reminds us uh to 31st night first night yeah especially the watch night service around 2009 to somewhere some few years back yeah when he stopped taking us through that mm -hmm. uh when you see him with such a list yeah. Then he will come with the list of itemized prophecies mm. which are to be experienced that the following year. Okay. Okay. And uh, it was something which everybody will be so keen mm. at listening. Yeah. Because we know he is our forebearer. Yes. And that was going to shape our lives. Wow. Whether there are challenges or we're going to have uh, something which is prosperous. Mm. It all boils down to what the message is about. Yeah. And he pointed out that if we have seen him stop making such pronouncement, it's not that because he has nothing to say again. But in any field of learning, there are very simple things and also complex things. Mm -hmm. He noted that with time, when he started bringing those prophecies. Mm. <laughs> Many men of God, pastors, prophets, and even malams <laughs> and fetish priests wow. were also given similar prophecies. Mm. Many which were coming through. Yeah. So he noted that that was a chance play. Mm. <coughs> so there was no need of wasting his energy over there. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Rather, he decided to select the most complex of all the tasks. Mm that involves Christianity. Okay. What is this tax? Mm -hmm. It is the ability to convey the message of God, mm. the word of God, in clarity so that at the end of the day, when the congregation had listened, they will be able to imbibe in whatever God has for them. Okay. And be able to touch their lives so there will be a form of transformation. Okay. So that was what he decided to go. As a teaching ministry, right? <laughs> exactly. Okay. And he decided to take it to a higher level, mm. which he says is high tech. Yeah. And we can always testify that because the message did not come only clean. It always associated with testimonies, mm. miracles, mm. signs and wonders. Science and and wonders. in his ministry, there is this always before and after which makes it unique. So he was just telling us he was not going to the first night, but rather because it was general matters, there was the need to itemize the issues at hand. So that is why for the first time, something that has been left over for a long time has surfaced. Wow, <coughs> wow, wow. Uh, I think there was a time in 2014 or 2015 when I, 
I got to hear of one of those testimonies talking about abundance of rain and the maize. Yes, yeah. I saw it. I was like, wow, wow. And that year, we, we experienced a bountiful harvest. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. We miss those days. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we miss those days. In the words of God, wherever you are, we miss those days. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Now uh, let's continue. Let's continue. Now, last week, if if you could all recall, the voice of God named the amount of money that the vo uh, the angel of Philadelphia and the gracious God has helped with Philadelphians to gather. And then, this money was not money that uh, he was going to invest into any project, but then he was giving back to us because he is replicating whatever happened in the Bible. So he used to say that we are celebrating the anniversary of the days of the apostles in our time. Yes. So he made us to understand that today he'll be coming forward to teach us or direct us to how to go about it so that one can be a beneficiary or one can benefit from this assistance that he's going to give to Philadelphia. Speaking of this, uh, let me go to uh, Brother Michael Afoka. Uh So now, if I'm a member or I'm a Philadelphian, one, uh, what qualifies me to uh, enjoy this assistance? And what is the modality? Uh, what should I do? How do I apply or how do I get this? If you can also help us in that jurisdiction, please. Thank you very much, Mr. Marco. Please, um, I want to add a little to what mm -hmm. Mr. Daniel Kofiusai just said. Okay. Um, Stephen Adunchi, the voice of God, mm -hmm. he's preparing us to the city of Philadelphia, Philadelphia. Yeah. the world mm -hmm. whereby we are being led, guided by the angelic host of the heavens. So that is where he is preparing us to us. Okay. You know, Stephen Adunchi, the voice of God, He's already in that world. Okay. He's been saved mm. by the angelic host mm. of the heavens. Okay. And if we can recall, he has taught us in one of his sermons mm. that before you can be deemed fit to mm. be saved by an angel mm. or the angelic host mm. of the heavens, mm. you have to pass certain three tests. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Meaning you should get your personality set right, mm. your mm. destiny set right, mm. your future set right mm. Mm. in the sight of God. Of God yeah. As Jesus did in the wilderness mm. when he was being tested yeah. by the devil. Mm. And he said just right after passing the test, and just came and ministered to they him. came and ministered unto him. Wow. Wow. Stephen Adumchira, the voice of God, has already passed mm. that test. Yes. So he has his destiny, future, and personality set right mm. for him to be saved by the angelic host of the heavens. Mm. And as he said, he is preparing us, okay. ushering us into that world okay. where we will be saved and guided by the angelic host of the heavens. And he said that that is the main reason why he said he's empowering us. Empowering us, yes. In the word. Mm. And you know, of late in, in our world, mm. in the world when they say empowerment is more or less like you need certain concussions to drink, yes. certain <laughs> amulets and charms uh, to, yeah, put to put uh, on. Yes. Yeah. And that is not the matter. When you say you are, you are being empowered and it means you are the scholar of God's word. Mm. You mm. have God's word right in your heart. Okay. So that is how he is preparing us to meet such a task. Okay. Okay. Now back to the question. Mm -hmm. Before you can be a beneficiary mm -hmm. or you can benefit from the amount accrued, accrued. Yes. one, you need to be a member of the two groups mm -hmm. under the Philadelphia movement. Oh, okay. We have the second chance group yes. and, the, and then the Adun group. And the Adun group. So that's the first uh, criteria. The first criteria. You should be a registered member. Of a registered of member of any of this group. Okay. Whether second chance or Adam. Okay. okay. Yeah, and then um, with the money that will be shared, mm -hmm. according to Stephen Adunchela, the voice of God, mm -hmm. he said this is being used mm. 
to help the downtrodden ones, mm. the needy amongst us. Okay. So with this money, if you are part of the contributors, mm -hmm. and then you contributed amounted to this um, five million and yeah, uh, three, five point three yeah, million Ghana million Ghana cities. Ghana cities. Yes, yes. Then you should count yourself blessed because mm -hmm. your money is going to in one one way or the other assist mm. the poor and the needy. Okay. So if you also find yourself among the group mm -hmm. of those that are in need, mm -hmm. then we have an, an, an executive structure mm. which you should write an application letter to. Okay. Writing for financial assistance. assistance. And you should state why mm. you need that assistance. Mm -hmm. For instance, let's say you, you are running this petty trade, trade and then you need to expand. Mm. So you would need a capital mm. just to make sure that you can expand on your business or expand your territories. Mm -hmm. So with that, you write to the executive board. And then the executive board also have a criteria which they will use to scrutinize mm -hmm. all those who have written uh, or uh, applied, applied for the for assistance. The assistance. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, one thing you have to take note is the person should be a registered member. Yes, please. Yes, and the second one, the person should be <coughs> a needy. Should be needy. Yes. Poor and needy. Yeah. Yes, and then you should apply. Yes, you should apply. Okay. Stating clearly what you, you tend to use it for. Mr. Uh, also, uh, 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 let me come to you once again. Uh, now, I have applied. Yeah. I am needy. Yeah. And then, I am also a member. So, it has come to you as an executive. What are some of the things that you have to do to verify that, indeed, I am qualified for the assistance? Okay, Mr. Wakon, I think um, I want to pass some small information before. Okay. See, this concept, Stephen Adum Chidu, at the voice of God, is using, is to continue to make sure that God's word mm -hmm. is always fulfilled. Okay. He made it clear to us that in God's ministry, mm -hmm. it is when you have given that you receive. Okay. And receive, yeah. receiving after it has gone through God himself. Mm -hmm. How does one give an offering? <coughs> To get to God. Yeah. It is yeah. when it is channeled through those who need. Mm. Because mm. God uses men as a tool to reach out to the poor. Mm. So that was the purpose. Okay. And it is also captured in the um, book of Acts of the Apostles. Okay. Where they put all their resources together. And they at that time, they had landed property, buildings whatever you can think of okay. and because they needed money urgently mm -hmm. to support the needy they just put went to the market sold whatever they had and then brought the money to be okay. shared amongst the people according to their needs okay right so Stephen Adum Chibia is saying that throughout the year we have done so much which we believe that it is an offering or a sort of something that we want to give to God to prove that we are really subjects. And how does that happen? It is when it goes through to the needy. In our case, we are not selling any property of ours. But what we have been doing unconsciously, like paying of uh, tithes, which in our case we call harvest, giving offerings, uh, paying dues, and so forth in the church, mm -hmm. which hitherto has been usurped by the church. Mm -hmm. totally, especially when it comes to the one-man church people, yeah. they take custody of all without making any accounting of it or accounting for it to the members. Mm -hmm. In his case, he wants to make sure that we are all made to reap what we have sown. Okay. Because it is only when God has received your sort of... Um, your giving or offering. Your giving or offering okay. that you will get a return. Mm -hmm. So, if you are in a church and you think that the tithe and others that you are given is what going to empower you to prosperity, then I'm just telling you that you are dealing with the wrong people because your pastor is not the one who is to receive this money. Now, moving straight to the question. Okay. After you have put in your application, still at the time of Jesus Christ, Mm -hmm. He also empowered the apostles to do something similar. Okay. He was waiting to see if the people 
will sometimes sort of give preference to their relations, friends. So he was looking at them. However, they were all faithful. Mm -hmm. And so they made sure that they apportioned the money to those who were really in need of it. Okay. And also the right amounts. They, the apostles themselves, mm -hmm. might have their own special needs, but they never touch any of such any money. As Stephen Adunchibia, okay. the voice of God, has proven okay. this year, 2021, okay. that from January to date, he's accrued monies of over 503 million cities no, where he's going to keep 5.3 million cities. yes, yes. 5.3 million cities rather okay. and he believes that by the time it will be around 600 million yeah. ghana cities that is what he's projecting now six million ghana cities six million <laughs> in fact the money the is money so yes, 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 yes that i'm finding it about 60, 60 billion, billion yes. ghana cities yes 60 billion okay and then, uh, so billion. when the executives mm -hmm. receive the sort of application they must know mm -hmm. that being executives their role is to serve they are servants okay and they are supposed to make sure that the right decisions are taken okay uh one you're already a member mm -hmm. you've paid your dues yes we also want to find out whether you are fully paid okay aside that uh, are you regular in church? Mm -hmm. You see, some time back, as soon as Stephen Adun you the voice of God, unveiled this uh, sort of idea mm -hmm. of reaching out to the people mm. and then bringing out the two groups, many were those who thought it was going to be a susu and loan scheme mm -hmm. where you put in money and at the end of the year, you are going to re reap or receive rewards or returns on whatever you have given. Mm -hmm. But along the line, he set up the categories on making it clear to us that the purpose of the money is not for all of us. It is specific because we are needy and God uses the, them as a channel to make sure that you or your friend gets to him. As it was done in the olden days okay. where they send their offerings to the Levites yeah. who were serving at the church. Okay. So this time, it is just to make sure the money goes to the right people. So they are to make sure that they scrutinize mm -hmm. whatever has come to them. Mm -hmm. When they are done, he said many are the applications that will come. Mm -hmm. But certainly only a few will have to qualify. So they have to sieve it with several criteria. And the most important is also how punctual the person is. Mm -hmm. If we have a lot of people, then they have to then forward their decision to the national headquarters okay. for another scrutiny by the okay. executives or the executive board. Okay. When they are through, then they will also finally push it to Stephen Adun Chidu the voice of God for consideration. Okay. So that is how we're supposed to go through it. Okay. Thank you very much. So now it has been established that the executives must do due diligence to make sure that the person pays his dues yeah. and then uh, he pays it regularly. The person also contributes to the sp special contributions to support the needy. The person is punctual. Okay, so having said all this, uh, let me come to uh, Auntie Dorothy. Auntie Dorothy, for instance, I'm an executive, right? And then uh, uh, I have a sister or I have a relative who is also a member of the Adun group. And then you know that uh, you usually see when you have, I also have. <laughs> <laughs> so you have and I have, yes. Uh, so I try to support you and then make your case look so genuine. As again, some a genuine person who is in need of it somewhere. What did the voice of God say about this? And then uh, what other examples that the voice of God give that we the executives can learn from? What sort of leadership must we exhibit now to help the needy and also to make sure that God himself will bless us so that we do not end up envying those receiving the money. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Mwaku. You're welcome. And I also use this opportunity to thank God so much for his traveling messes. Yeah. Yeah, for seeing the thing throughout mm -hmm. and bringing us back safely. Mm -hmm. And I also congratulate Anna Owahini so much. Yeah. I watched the program, the repeated one, and it was so nice. Okay. 
when she was being installed mm -hmm. formally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. like the program so much. So I know why in wherever you are. A big congratulations to you. Now, now, now the thirty, if you just mention one and then uh, you leave the others. <laughs> I'm in charge. I'm supposed to charge you because now I I I, 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 I in trouble. trouble. <laughs> you, you just can't mention the name any like that. Don't put me to any trouble. So why any or what? I'm in a pancas. You know, powerful. I know why any or what? I'm in a pancas. Yes, Millicent. I don't cheat here. The Lord bless you. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, concerning the question. Okay. You see, Stephen Adum Chedia, the voice of God, always used himself as an example. Okay. Because he has gone through what he was supposed to go through right from the beginning to this far. Mm. So, mm. whatever he does, he wants people to enrich certain things from him. Okay. So, he said that you being an executive member, you are just like God's servants. Mm. And then a servant you are supposed to do as your master say mm. without any question. Okay. You are just to do what you are asked to do without having any excuse anywhere. And you should be a genuine person, mm. a truthful one, an honest man. So that what God has entrusted in your hand to take care of, you do just that. And he made mention of the fact that if you are a servant, you don't need to expect any rewards mm. from those you are serving. Because mm -hmm. you are a servant, it means you are serving. Yeah. You don't expect anything from them. You should be selfless and do justice to the services you are supposed to render. Okay. And for that matter, for him, when he started his ministry, Though he was uh, worshipping under shed, mm -hmm. miracles mm -hmm. were happening, happening here, here and there. Yes. Healing, deliverance, everything. But he was still under shed. Mm. So people were even wondering, are, are you sure this man is a man of God? Yes. And are you sure he's powerful? Mm -hmm. How come he's under shed? Yes. At that material moment, whatever he gets, he is using it to put certain structures in place for God's children mm. first. Mm. So according to him, at a point, even this place, he started putting up these wholesale facilities, furnishing it, beds, mattresses, telly, yeah, and uh -huh. every room is like self-contained. Yeah. Yeah. Toilet and bath, everything is inside mm -hmm. when he was renting. Wow accommodation and he had somewhere. already built for people to come and have their comfort but mm. he started thinking of god's children first wow so it's like god first god first if you love me fend for my sheep mm. so mm. the love he has for god made him decided to service god's children first before mm. his own mm. so it's like he denying his own uh, interests and, and whatever yeah. yeah yeah though he has family he has a wife and, has a child. Too. and thank God so much that he had that selfless wife too. Yeah. Because some men of God, their wife will never allow you to do that. Yes. <laughs> the twenty first century. Says, <laughs> Don't you know <laughs> I'm a <laughs> <for> mommy, <laughs> and I'm supposed to decorate hey, your classroom? Yes. And look at me here, and uh -huh. they started clothes. Yes. And you are giving out the money. No way. Some yes. even fight over bread, loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> How much more accommodation? Mm. So, we fighting over a lot yes, of Yes, the bread was brought to them, and this was like what, uh, let's say, if it's here, it will be one of the brothers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They said, No, the bread is for mission house. Yes. So, bring it to the mission house. <laughs> <laughs> After Sofo, Papa Sofo has finished yes. and uh, mm -hmm. is full, mm -hmm. that is where you get a uh, rest. Associate Pastor, you also get your share. <laughs> so, bring it. You see? But it's a different case altogether, all together over yeah. here. Yes. So he said he decided to do what he's supposed to do first. Mm. And you are supposed, if you are able to do that, yes. that is where at the end of the day, all that you need, God will also reward you, wow. being a faithful servant. Wow. So he is also cautioning or advising mm. the executives 
you know i do always say that in church uh, business or in church service or in god's uh, ministry, ministry any yeah. position you are given is not what like the political position or whatever position you are going to enjoy mm -hmm. It's a position of work. Mm -hmm. You are supposed to go and serve. So when you are given any position, it's a service position. Wow. You are not supposed to bo bo be boss on anybody. Mm. You go down. Like Jesus went down and washing the, the feet the of feet the disciples. disciples. Very good. But he said if you want to be the uh, mm -hmm. head, you yeah, should what? be the servant. Yeah, you should be ready to serve. Ready mm -hmm. to serve. Mm -hmm. and, that and that is what the mm -hmm. the voice of God mm -hmm. is doing. Mm -hmm. So he said that once you are executive, here you are a servant mm. maybe the big servant mm. and for that matter as you are entrusted to take these applications from those who will be uh, writing for uh, financial assistance or support make sure you do the work with honesty mm. no favoritism okay no nepotism yeah. Yeah. no bribe it's not a matter of scratch my back and I scratch yours. Mm -hmm. No. Even if the person is your wife or your husband, no way. Mm. Let it be so, so that the money that is accrued will fall into the right hands. The right hands. So that at the end of the day, those who also gave out will get their mm. blessings. Okay. Because he said that is what has been happening and we were paying tithes uh thousands of cities wherever we yes. were and we never got any yeah. blessings from it because it wasn't going to serve the purpose for which we paid for mm. the tithes and other things those times for the levites now where are they but mm. it still goes to the mission house yes. they use them to pay fees they use them to construct church buildings meanwhile the needy are there oh the church buildings they still tax us so oh but pay, it's the support yes you still pay Yet the church buildings are still there, not completed. Though. Sometimes they bank it. 25 years now. They bank it and they are proud. <laughs> and they will be needy. <laughs> <laughs> eh? People mm. are there, they can't even get one square meal a day. Yes. People are coming to church in tattered clothing. Mm. All we can do is to work. be mocking at them. Mm. Look at her, look at him, always in, in one, one clothing. In one cloth. Always in one cloth, yes. We are not prepared to help them. Mm. Mm. Sometimes some people will close from church and how to even get back to their the destination house, is yes, a problem. Yes. Meanwhile, those monies were accrued and sometimes shared among some group of people. Most of them have those used people to open don't even financial need financial services and they will loan it to the church members with higher interest rates. You see, mm. it's better for you to even go to the bank <laughs> if you have access. <laughs> you see, <laughs> at the end of the day, those who have already. Yes. Mm will share it among themselves mm. and they will quote the bible quotation mm. that the mm. bible says that those who have more more will be given <laughs> and those that they don't have the little that you have will be taken yeah. out away from you and give it to them misquoting the bible like that oh oh and if you also hear it like that you also hey and then let them take it to the bible has said it mm. Mercy. Mercy. misunderstanding Mercy. of the whether mm -hmm. it's a misunderstanding or it's a, a sheer wickedness i no, can't no, tell it is indoctrination so he, just is saying that the executive don't do that okay be sincere okay so that we will actually get lists of those who are actually in need mm. Mm. initially when we started he mentioned it mm. that if you are also doing it can be that <coughs> nobody sees whatever uh, mm. each and everyone is giving out because it's a uh, you between you and your god yeah so initially he cautioned us that when it, the right time comes for us to share, mm. if you don't need it, don't come in. Mm. That is your sacrifice. Mm. That is what you are also using to support a needy. Yes. For you know, you couldn't identify a particular needy to support the mm. person. Mm. But with your little and somebody's little, we are putting it together to help them. Okay. And God has seen it. If okay. no one has seen it, God has seen it. And okay. he is the secret rewarder. Mm. So let it be. So those who have it, please don't put in the application mm. to block <coughs> the chances of those who actually need, need the money. Okay. You Thank mentioned you. some time ago when I said I have misplaced my phone. So somebody has gotten it. For you know, somebody needs just 100 CDs to start okay. a business. I said it. Yes. <laughs> so that is it. <laughs> For you know, somebody needs some token to start something. Yes. But you have it. Why do you have to come in? So the executive, make sure you do due diligence mm. so that you get the right people, mm. a very good scrutiny. Mm. Mm. 
after the, the, the issue of they qualifying. Mm. It can be that the person qualifies from those uh, mm. aspects, all right. He pays the dues, uh, pays the special, blah, blah, blah. But he doesn't need it. Yeah, that's another condition. So you, you do due diligence work needy, there. Poor. Investigate, yeah. yes. Okay. So that the money will land into the right hand. For okay. God to bless those who give out. Okay. Okay. Uh, Madam mm. Michael, let me come to you. But I will want you to read uh, the quotation that the voice of God gave to us so that you all know that uh, indeed this is scriptural. Whatever the voice of God is doing is not out of the blue or out of the moon. That uh, from nowhere he is introducing something new into Christianity and the Christendom. So let us know what the Bible says about this. Okay. Okay. Acts chapter 4, verses 34 through to 35. Okay. Neither was there any among them that lacked. Mm. For as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought them the prizes of things that were sold. Okay. The verse 35. Yeah, the 35. Yeah. And laid them down at the apostles' feet. And distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. Okay. Uh, let's touch on it solely for me and then we move on to the next agenda. Okay. So as Stephen Adunche, that the voice of God has always been reiterating mm -hmm. that we are celebrating the anniversary of the days of the Acts of the, the, the Apostles. Acts of the Apostles, yes. Please, um, I would like us to take note. Mm -hmm. Concerning the two sides, okay. when I say the two sides, mm -hmm. the benef uh, the benefactors yeah, or the benefactors or let's say beneficiaries, the beneficiaries, okay. Okay. and then um, the servants. Let me say mm -hmm. the, executive the executive board. Yeah. Why am I saying this? We are now experiencing again mm. the power of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. So when you are an executive. Mm. And then we Philadelphians, we are holy and true. Wow. So if you are an, an executive and then you try to, in a way, introduce nepotism mm. into mm. this whole affair, mm. try to be biased in a yeah. way. Showing favoritism. Yes, yeah, trying to be f favoritic mm. to certain kind of people or mm. those that you know. Mm. Please, mm -hmm. if you don't take care. Okay. Since we are under the power of the Holy Ghost mm. and under the sun yeah. the mm. Holy Ghost power is being operated through that one man mm. the voice of God Stephen I don't and this is the first time we are also experiencing, experiencing the power yeah. of the Holy Ghost okay please if you are an, an executive you should also be very very careful okay that is the main reason why Stephen I don't that the voice of God is trying to open certain things mm. up mm. Mm. Because if you don't take care, mm. you'll be striked. Wow. Just as it happened in the days of uh, the, uh, Ananias mm. and Sapphira. Mm. And then if you are not poor, if you don't fall under the umbrella of those who are poor and needy, need please to. don't join the queue. Wow. Don't join. Please stop. Okay. As Steve Nadine Chira, the voice of God said, he said that in our generation today, Ananias and Sapphira, for them, they passed out mm -hmm. right at that instance. Mm -hmm. But for us, you become a living dead. Okay. You are living, but you are dead. Mm -hmm. Suffering, deep in pain. Mm -hmm. Whilst you be witnessing the numerous testimonies of your fellow mm -hmm. brethren. Fellow brethren. Wow. They are always expatiating. Mm. In fact, moving from one high to the next, to the and next you are level. depreciating, but still a Philadelphian. So please, we should be aware. If you know you don't fall to group A, please don't join among the poor and needy, please. Because of what we have just read. Because, as Steve Nadinchera, the voice of God, has said, mm -hmm. In, and also in the Bible, he said none of them lacked anything. anything. Wow. That is the level that he is taking us to. That's true. Wow. And we don't need to flaw the laws, mm. flout the laws. Yeah. We, yeah. Sh we should be um, obedient to the law so that we all get to that stage. Okay. 
Yeah, so um, as it happens in the day of the apostles, mm -hmm. if we also experience it now and today, mm -hmm. then that is the main reason why God, through his mercies from January up to now, this sum of money, which is almost getting to six, 60 billion, yeah. let me put it in that context, old yes, <laughs> all yeah. this has been accrued. Yeah. 60 billion. What is it? Like you don't see the impact. Sixty billion. Yes, do your mouth like that. Sixty billion. Yes. <laughs> 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 and you see, uh -huh. adding a little to what uh -huh. Mrs. Dorothy said, um, to the executive yeah. board, mm -hmm. you are servants, mm -hmm. and a servant is one who has forsaken, denied himself. He cares less about his well-being and welfare. Mm. Because when the money was being placed at the disposal of um, the, the... The feet of the apostles. Uh, the feet of the apostles. Yeah, Peter and Co. Yeah. People sold their lands. Mm. The prizes of the lands uh, were, were being placed at their feet. Yeah. If Peter had that dream of getting this mansion for himself, mm -hmm. the money was being placed at his yeah. feet. Lands and their buildings. Yes. Huge money. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But because okay. Peter and the disciples had already forsaken themselves and they were living for Christ, mm. and through them the power of the Holy Ghost mm. kept the whole movement, then, yeah. just as the power of the Holy Ghost through Stephen Adun Chedia is keeping mm. the whole Philadelphia movement, because Stephen Adun Chedia, the voice of God, has forsaken himself. Mm. He cares less about his well being, his welfare, and you know right from the scratch he was always thinking about the well-being of the the flock the special servant um, um, guest mm. of god mm. so i i came to witness some we had those who found it very difficult even to mobilize funds to get married wow or even to wear their 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 their, their, their to be wives mm. but still not doing they are the voice of god supported these people Financed everything. Financed everything. Hi. And you know, whilst he was renting mm. an apartment, he made sure that if you are his flock, mm. you would get to that level of building your own house. Wow. Wow. But he was renting. Mm. So he's the type he never in any way, in fact, thought about his well-being. Even one percent of it. Wow. Okay. So as he said, if you are an executive, and then when it gets to the extent of the money has been shared amongst yeah. um, those who are in need, it the downtrodden ones, now given to and you. let's say you, you are an executive, maybe even find it very hard to afford, let's say like a three square meal in a day, and then seeing that huge accrued money, let's say you've gotten about maybe. Um, two hundred thousand Ghana cedis. Wow! In 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 your hands to be shared to some people. To some people. Wow! You're also suffering. <laughs> That's a big temptation. Yes, it's a big temptation. Yes. But according to Stephen Adunche, they said this is the best platform mm. for you to also make your request known to God. Known to God. Wow! That God, this would serve as a sort of trying to dampen people's yeah, faith. Yeah. So show for thy glory. As Stephen Adun Chida, the voice of God did, mm. and now we are seeing that which is mind-blowing mm. around him. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, so to, to all Philadelphia Royals, this is a good news to us. And to the executives, it is also a good news. We are supposed to help for the dreams and then the work of God to be materialized through the voice of God, Stephen Adwichedia. Okay, now let's talk of next week Sunday. Mm. Next week yes, Sunday, uh, um, the voice I of wish God. I wish I could add something later to what Brother Michael said. Okay, okay. just briefly. Uh, okay, just then a minute. we come to Sunday. Uh, yes. yes. Um, as uh, Stephen Adwichedia, the voice of God, mm -hmm. was explaining issues to us, mm -hmm. what Brother Michael just put across, uh, there are situations where some people want mm -hmm. that they don't get. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Others also get it, yet they don't, they don't want, want it. it. Mm -hmm. And because of that scenario, Sivanadum Chidua is also warning, I'll say, both the executive and those who are going to sort of write applications. There can be a lot of compromises. 
However, he's making us aware that one, we should never take advice mm -hmm. from anyone who envies us. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see, like the person who is the manager, the executive, he's interested in the money mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he doesn't have the opportunity mm -hmm. as explained by our rules. So if you're not lucky, that person may advise you somebody who probably have not made up your mind mm -hmm. to put in an application for you to make uh, sort of concoct mm. some sort of stories to create that platform now this is something that happens in many churches as we see now okay we have pastors who envy the congregations mm -hmm. or the members yeah, the their congregants, con their congregants. Yeah. Yeah. and you have your car this pastor is envying you with that car mm. he'll give you so many stories if you are not lucky you tell you the car at night is run by witches here and there <laughs> and for you to have your relief you may even get involved in an accident so you have to bring the car to him and then let him use it for a while and deliver the car sometimes <laughs> he will even tell you you have to sell the car yes. to free yourself from yes. those devilish attacks mm -hmm. and before you realize he will buy the car very cheaply <laughs> no price. if you are a man and you're not even lucky this mm. pastor may be envying your wife mm. Before you realize, he will have asked you, the man himself, the husband, to drive the hmm. woman, when you see your wife, to the church to come and go through some sort of that directions. Is. Before you realize, he's already, uh, she's pregnant for him. And that means you have lost your wife. So it is a caution to both of us. <laughs> None of us should try and take corners, uh, cut corners. Mm -hmm. We should be truthful. Okay. So coming to Sunday, mm -hmm. Sunday will be the major Sunday service mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to climax the year. The major, it is not the last, but the major. Stephen Adin Chedri, the voice of God, says that from January to December, the first week of December, God has done so much mm -hmm. in our lives. Okay. And to show our appreciation, we are to come to church dressed white, white. Mm -hmm. However, it is not compulsory that because you don't have the white outfit, do not come to church. Mm -hmm. He stressed that the white by itself is not making any impact mm -hmm. in how you're going to worship God. Okay. But the thanksgiving is a form of offering that we are going to give mm -hmm. that particular day. Mm -hmm. And all should make sure that they try and put in their best. He recall that if we have TB in this world, then it emanates from the time of Cain and Abel. The TB, that is tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. Okay. Where Cain mm -hmm. decided to burn that leftovers from his farm, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. became so much smoky mm -hmm. that he ended up coughing and coughing, which has mm -hmm. escalated to <laughs> TB as we have right now. So we should not just... <laughs> Come and give our leftovers. Wow, wow. God has done so much for us. This is the last offering that the church is going to require its members to mm -hmm. put across. And it is also going to top up the 600 million Ghana cities. So even if you get more, that means that the share is going to be more, quite huge for okay. the recipients. Okay. So we should put in our best. We mm -hmm. should not just come and drop out this is not a time that you have to pile your yeah. red red and then put it in an envelope and come and put it in the offering okay and he's empowering all the big uh church mm -hmm. that they should put in an open in an open space mm. a sort of facility within which we can drop our envelopes mm. and uh, he narrated that smaller ones at least they should also make sure that they play their part Okay. Because one, we must know that part of the rules, which maybe we've not specified, is that each group will be met according to their needs. Mm. And also, the effort they have put in raising okay. the funds. Okay. It's not just they folding their fun, uh, hands and then just relying on the general funds. Okay. So that should be done. And we must make sure, after this, nobody should put in any money as a form of offering. Till 2022. Wow. And should there be anything, <coughs> they should inform the people that yes, 
offering has closed till <laughs> 2022. 22, yes. yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I don't think this is going to happen in your church mm -hmm. if you are not within the Philadelphia fold. Wow. Because wow. <laughs> you are even going to pay a seed money for 2022 okay. in some churches. Okay. But just after our first Sunday service in December, we are all free to keep the rest and prepare for the Philadelphia night. Okay. Mm. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, we are, let's look at uh, coming Tuesday. The, the voice of God put forth uh, one supplication. Yeah. That he needed strong men. Strong men to assist in the work at the Philadelphia city. That is on Tuesday. Uh, at the Dorothy, uh, I don't know if you've gotten a picture of the work at the Philadelphia city. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 looking at uh, what is going on, the huh. task, you see, uh, the preparation of the land. Let's come to just the preparation of the land. Uh, the tons of sand, or let's say, uh, uh, quarry dust. Yes, that's yes. the right thing. Quarry dust that is bought to fill the place up. Now we say he needs uh, men, strong men. We didn't come and say, and it's not the whole Ghana. To come and help uh, please if you can also put in a word mm. as the voice of god said and, uh, thank you okay yeah Stephen, i don't change you the voice of god said that he needs some men to go and do some work mm -hmm. it's a voluntary work a sacrifice this is one of the sacrifices the men are also supposed to do because all finances and other things labor work everything he has sponsored it all alone he never charge a penny he never asked any church member to pay one cd okay he is all alone uh, this is the time that he needs our support and said the men because yeah. it's men's job mm -hmm. some things are for men you see that's when you understand that some things are for men only these <laughs> people <laughs> and those will say that the things we can do you can even do and do it better <laughs> <laughs> now we need you to pick shovels and I'm telling us it's for me. <laughs> what God has said, there's no way you can change it. <laughs> some things are for men. Only. Yes. Yes. Some things so are for, for men, men only. only. Very yes, good. Thank you. So he said he needs the men. <laughs> he doesn't need the women. Uh -huh. If you're a woman and you are going there, maybe you have cooked and you're going to serve the men. <laughs> or some are also strong. Fine. There are some women who are also no, energetic. He said he doesn't yes. need the women. Muscles. Yes. They, are, they, are, they are muscular. It's for men. <laughs> As for Tuesday, he needs men. Okay. And even within Kumasi, he has even limited it. Yeah. He doesn't need anybody from outside Kumasi. Yeah. Kumasi that is only like another region. Another region. I think from that stretch, from Joshua to Kumasi, if you are there, uh, you can help. Yes. Yeah. Other yeah. than that, there's no need of you traveling from yeah. wherever you are to join. Yeah. 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 And he said that he will need shovels. Mm. Yeah. So when coming, Make sure you bring your own shovel. Yeah, you ask around. <laughs> you ask, yeah, shovel, you yeah. get one and then come and work with it. He said he would have used the machines, mm. but it's like at a point he thought it was okay, so okay. he despised them. And maybe the drivers have also, the operators have also uh, gone. Also yeah. Gone. And you know, the land is a what? A red clay soil. Mm. They, I think a laterite, yeah. but yeah. it's red. It's a laterite, yeah. Yeah, and you know how it can sting. Mm. So mm. he's doing us good by covering it with the dust, mm, the quarry right, dust. The quarry dust yeah, yeah, that is where he <coughs> needs the men to spread it so that they can uh, cover the latrite, the mm -hmm. red latrite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. for in case there's going to be rain for or it rains, we will not what, find anything right. in our dresses or any mud in our dresses. And let me chip in this. Okay. As he said this, okay. he also mentioned that People have gotten some sort of fate. I don't know where uh, that fate is coming from. Yes, yes, yes. They are eating mm. soil, they are drinking soil, so they are <laughs> eating everything. They are, are buffing. They are buffing with it. Yes. Yes. it all over their body. Uh -huh. mm. I don't know whether some are even <coughs> taking some and spreading it on their bed and they are sleeping <laughs> on it and whatever. Some even cook with it. We can't tell. Uh -huh. But he's begging. That's for hygienic sake. Mm. Don't do it. Mm. Well, he will not do it. Yes. We have these prayer materials, all those who are. Mm. The abundance. Let that one be sufficient for you. Mm. If you want to exercise your faith, use the prayer material to exercise your faith. For this unhygienic faith is becoming unbecoming. Yes. It looks as if, and it's like, as Stephen Adun Chela this afternoon said, 
Jesus used what? Uh, the latrite yeah, or the soil. The soil. Yes. Yeah. To yeah. heal the blind. Mm -hmm. It does not mean that every blind should be healed in that manner. Mm. Mm. It came purposely for that, that man person. and that instance. So if somebody has come to give a testimony that he took some from Katapur and it worked for her, that is what he he she had. Mm. And it ends there. I don't mm. think that same person, if she wants to use that same uh, material for other purpose, it will even work. Mm. Because it came for that particular moment, for that particular yeah. Uh, yeah. What, problem. Mm. And it ends there. God is not one way. Yeah. So why do you have to be bothering yourself <coughs> other chewing calendar, the stickers mm. and all that? Mm. No, he said, fine. Your faith can help you and then make you well yeah. after taking it. But have you thought of the aftermath? Yeah, the end result. It effects mm. Yeah. Mm. on the system, the yeah. chemicals and other things. Mm. And with our souls, they are not even what? Hygienic, uh, it's not a uh, what? Uh, how do you call it? Clean. It's, it's not, not clean. clean. Yeah, okay. It's not clean. Look at the way we spit yeah. around, defecate around, defecate around. Yes. around. Yeah. For that one, you, have you to see, <laughs> no, they are all part of the story you are seeing. Yes, anyhow, open defecation. Yes, yes, open defecation. So, as you are eating the soil or the lateral, you are also eating yeah, about the cheeses. Yes, <laughs> if you are not careful, you are going to catch uh, uh what cholera. Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, that faith mm. is becoming unbecoming. Mm. Use the prayer material. Yeah. And it will work for you. Yeah. Sometimes people use just a bottle of water. Yeah. Place it on the television. Use it, and they are getting they testimonies. Are getting testimonies. Why do you have to go down? He said. Some even you have, have been taken yeah. through these false uh, directions. Mm -hmm. All those who are, and he has come to open your eyes. Your eyes open and look at what you are doing. You also do you say you are going back? <laughs> you are just you are like going back pig. to that place again, just like the pig. No, 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 no. <laughs> for this, he is begging all of us uh -huh. to resist from it at once. Mm. At once. That aside, you are also impeding the work mm. he's doing over there. Yes. He will level the place. The next day. The next day they come and they are potholes. Yes. How? <laughs> How will he finish? For us all to go and then enter into the glory. Mm. So please, those living around, I don't, I don't, I, I don't even, I wouldn't be surprised to see people traveling from uh, far and near, carrying sacks, and then maybe a boy have to come and take the sun to uh, them. In, in, indeed. Please. People he is buying that. them. Even the, uh, the quarry that he said he's bought more than 500 trips. Yeah. 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 And it's money. He and he wants to, money. Yes, mm. he wants to put the place in order for us to enjoy our 31st program. So don't impede the work for him. Yeah. Please. Let's desist from that kind of faith. On the platform here, the decorations, the flowers, we plug all of them. Why? Mm? Mm. Please. Okay. Please, if you want to exercise your faith, there should be a limit. Thank you. Some pastors will buff and uh, hmm. waste water. Either they have to kill. To Church members have to yeah. kill. Yeah. Yes, yeah. for yeah. it. Mm. What is it? Somebody will buff the filter. Could here. this be faith? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of faith, faith is that? Yeah. Yes. And that is what they want to extend to extend this place. To, yeah, but yeah. please. Hmm. The voice of God said, "Desist from that." Okay. Because He will never take it, okay. and wouldn't advise you to also take it. Okay. It has its own uh, effects at the end of the day. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, Madam Mike, I know you, you want to add a word to it, mm. but uh, moving from that, the moment you speak about it, let's talk about uh, preparations toward the thirty-first, the twenty-eighth, twenty-ninth, and Please. the thirtieth. What is going to happen? Okay. I, I, okay. Mm -hmm. I've, I've given Madam Mike the opportunity okay. to talk. Okay. So, if it doesn't. Then I'll okay, all right. So thank you. Adding a little to um, Mrs. Dorothy's submission, you know, um, the Bible states that cleanliness mm -hmm. is next to what? Godliness. Mm -hmm. And then the God you have defines your level of wisdom. Yeah, the wisdom you have is also yeah. the God you have. Yeah. So please, mm -hmm. if cleanliness is mm -hmm. next to godliness, then going for the soil. Mm. And then mm. some even soaking it in water and then mm -hmm. to the extent mm -hmm. of drinking. Ah, mm. <laughs> it's like we are kind of trying to abuse, mm. Mm. abuse the power of God. And applying our faith in this manner is a misuse of power. Mm. Mm. So please, mm. 
let's stick to what God has instructed and given to the voice of God because when God was sending Moses God asked Moses that this is what you are expected to use the rod and that is what he used throughout okay. so what God has given to Stephen Adun Chedia please let's all stick to that okay all right now um the road to um 31st, 31st night, night yeah, yeah i think um 28th yeah. 29th and then the 30th okay. three solid good days okay these days has been set aside mm -hmm. as thanksgiving thanksgiving wow. song ministration day wow wow according wow. to stephen adunchi that the voice of god mm -hmm. we are going to praise God. And worship at hmm. on these three days. We shall dance. We shall dance. Wow. <laughs> That's why they're competition between you and I. Open <laughs> competition. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, and this is so because Adumunyami, the gracious God, has done a lot. Wow. You know, from the onset, from mm. January mm. through to December. Wow. Let's even cast our minds back. The year of miracles. The year of miracles. When Stephen Adin Chida, the voice of God, planted mm. the Philadelphia movement mm. on the 31st night, mm. 2020. Okay. And how faster it has grown mm. to bear a lot of fruits just within wow. one year. Okay. In fact, Adum Nyami deserves to be praised. When you look at even the dates and time, it's less than a year now. Yes. <laughs> it's less than a year now. Yes, Unless okay. the number of um, Philadelphia, let me say, branches, branches that yes. we have worldwide, mm. Mm. every now and then a new movement is sp um, springing up. up. Yeah. Now That's we serious, cannot yeah. even count. That's serious. That's serious. Okay. Now, so the 28th and then uh, 29th. 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 30th. 30th. Uh, someone may like to join, maybe. Uh, you also want to get to the city of Philadelphia and dance and get his groove on, you know. Yes, the Lord has been good to us. I have my testimony, he has his testimony. Uh, can we all come? Who are those uh, mandated to be there from the 27th or so, 28th through to the 30th and then the 31st? Yeah, thank you very much. You know, um, the 28th through to 30th, this is going to be a TV ministration. Whatever will go on, on on those days will be televised through Second Chance Television. Okay. That is what will be going on. Mm -hmm. So according to Stephen Adunchida, the voice of God, please, no one is allowed to be there mm -hmm. except mm -hmm. workers. Wow. Those that moves with Stephen Adunchida, the voice of God. So as he, Stephen Adunchida, the voice of God, said he has over 300 workers. Okay. Yeah, that moves along with him. So they will report there on the 27th mm -hmm. to prepare the grounds mm. for all of us. Mm. So on the 28th, 29th through to 30th, please, it's going to be a TV yeah. telecast. Yeah. So we should all sit at the comfort of our, of, our, of our homes and then yeah. enjoy oh, okay so it means apart from the workers if you're not a worker you're not supposed to be there. yes 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 okay. because th this is a new place mm. a new site there's no yes. sort of accommodation at the place to accommodate this huge number, number of people of over people. three hundred thousand. Yes. no 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 no. Can't. no that's very true thank you so uh, viewers if you are watching and then uh listening to us please let's take heed to this let's take heed to this Yes, the voice of God has said it, and we have also retreated it. Apart from workers and staff who are supposed to be there from the 28th, 29th, and then 30th, please do not go there. Unless maybe you are from Adansi, yes, that town, and then uh, 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 Asankari, yeah. whereby you can just walk to your home. Other than that, if you don't have any place to stay or sleep over there, do not bring that burden also onto us. Please, we beg you. Wherever you are, sit by the comfort of your TV and you also get your testimony. Okay, so I'll be coming to Mr. Daniel Kofi, but please uh, permit me to read some okay. messages and then I'll come to you. Okay. Uh, beloved, it is getting uh, interesting over here. Please, if you just tune into Second Chance TV, it's time for the prophet 
and we are talking about general matters, issues that the voice of God have had outlined to coach and direct us. Beloved, you can also participate in this conversation by sending your messages to 0241775009. And 0201169511. This is for calling. The landline for calling 0201169511. And we have 0266494385. You can see it on your screen. 0201169511 and 0266 four nine four three eight five the lord bless you okay uh, i think the first i have a first message here and it is about uh this offering thanksgiving offering it said uh i'm lucas from equatorial guinea wow <laughs> equatorial guinea uh it says uh, how can i contribute my offering or send my offering uh, my thanksgiving offering <laughs> okay hmm equatorial guinea wow, wow. yes all the way last week i think he sent a message and i couldn't read this one goes uh this adumo adumo aqua brother madonna i greet you and your panelists this evening i hope you're all fine hey steven adun chedia papa di bibi baba o the papa di bibi baba o bibi baba o we thank god for giving us the voice of god let us all listen to him this is from francis nusuga in koforidia Father Francis, the Lord bless you. And it's from Anana Nochi Asim for glory, glory, glory be to Adum Nami for how far he has been changing the minds of the world. This is my understanding of Papa being given half of the population of the world. He said his understanding is that Papa has been given half of the population of the world. Mm. Wow. Stephen Adum Chedia, please keep on changing our minds through your teachers for this is what the world really needs. The Lord bless you. Hmm. Philadelphia at the Chicago watching you live from Germany do sit off and the moment I say that I think you all know who is he it's Oba Pavic Oba Pavic he says hey Papa Papa has taken over materialism and Christianity all over the world now the board uh, now the board this is your time to prove yourself we hope to meet you all on Sunday live Oba Pavic wow wow so he says Papa has changed the church mentality that when it comes to materialism mm. whereby the church and the pastors want to show off the things they have i can't remember there was a time the pastor will stand before the church and tell that the suit they are wearing and their perfume mm, mm. is far expensive than any dress or coat mm. the church members could afford and, and now the narration is different with stephen adventure the voice of god good day to all i'm hannah to a fan of papa but a muslim Please to ask if the Muslims are being allowed to join the Philadelphia movement. I'm based in Tamil, the northern region. Brother Michael, this one <laughs> you have to answer. It says, uh, if uh, uh, she is a fan, yes. I will say over here we don't have a fan. Stephen Adun Chedia do not have a fan. She, he's having followers or believers in yeah. yes, Philadelphia. So she wants to know if, as a Muslim, they are allowed to join. Explain <laughs> Philadelphia to them. Yes. <laughs> Let me read the last okay. one now. Then we yeah. I'll allow you to. Uh, hmm. It says Adumo Royals. It's been only two months since I came in contact with the Second Chance TV, and I always ask, "Who is this man, brethren? This is someone who speaks and it touches my soul and my spirit." Yadapa Second D, Takradi. Wow. Wow, okay, so let me allow you to touch on it and I'll come to Mr. Daniel mm. uh, a Muslim, a Muslim, you know, mm. um, according to Stephen Adun Chiria, the voice of God, mm. he has made us to understand that, um, with the Trinity God, mm -hmm. the, the, the Jews, mm. let's say, they, they, they worship God the Father, mm -hmm. and then Muslims also worship god the holy spirit the arabs are good are we yes, yes. the arabs mm -hmm. uh -huh. and then we the gentiles, the gentiles yes gentiles we worship god the son mm -hmm. who is jesus christ mm -hmm. of nazareth yeah yeah and then in fact you know they are one they are mm -hmm. united yes they are united they are united so you know muslims who had visited mm. the philadelphia movement Stephen not the voice of god has never in any way asked them to stop their yeah. faith yeah because god the father god the son and god the holy spirit they are one they mm. are united mm. 
So if you are under mm. God, the Holy Spirit, mm. please try and remain faithful to him. If you belong to God, the Father, remain faithful. And then if you think and then you perceive yourself to be a Gentile, falling under Christ, be faithful to Christ. Because the, the God in three persons, they are one. Okay. So no, it doesn't matter however you belong to. Okay, my sister, if you're Muslim, you are also permitted, you're also allowed here. We welcome you, everyone. <laughs> we have so many Muslims coming through. Yes. Just come. Come and join us. Come and join the Philadelphia movement. It says, I do more. look at all these wonderful things Papa is doing. God bless you. We shall tell the good words Papa and Adu Nyami is doing. Juan Ojibi, Philadelphia. My name is Christopher, talking from Afrancho. Today's message is wonderful. God will always bless Papa Adam. And this is from Techiman. He said, Papa really impressed me for showing what God has directed him to do for Techiman 2022. Hmm, God should forever be with him. I'm from Tamale, Chile. Okay, that is Tamale, but she is touched at what is happening in Techiman. He says, uh, My name is Madame Cynthia from Sechi. I'm a true believer and I love Papa so much. Okay, uh, Mr. Nkofi, uh, let me come to you. Uh, I think you have something you wanted to add to yes. the activities that were okay. But then right after that, I also want you to let's uh, touch on the projects. Okay. The project that has been earmarked for the year 2022. Okay. And let's start from how he showcased this to us and your impression about the works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, um, two quick ones. Okay. Uh, the first one was about the communal labor mm -hmm. on a Tuesday. Okay. Just the day after tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Stephen Adum Chidu are the voice of God. As he has already made it clear, he is inviting men mm -hmm. and able bodied men. <laughs> <laughs> By that, those who are ready to come and work. Uh, he's not anticipating any man coming over just for sightseeing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then the other side of it is that. Because the work is going to be quite uh, demanding, before you come, make sure you've taken breakfast. Yeah. Then, when we get there and work is being done, uh, God will take care of the rest. Uh -huh. You must also make sure that you are here by 7 a.m. Mm. So, the buses take off at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. So that you could get to the site on time mm -hmm. and then be able to also close early. Okay. Uh, now touching on 28th, 29th, 30th. Mm -hmm. Seven Adum Chedia, the voice of God, uh, first pleaded with the people who came for the catapult. That is uh, the 31st night, mm -hmm. 2020. Yeah. Yes, and then the experiences they went through yeah. at catapult. Yeah. Yeah. It is based on that, that he's also using the Thanksgiving uh, period to also make sure that he has whatever he's put in place is perfect. Mm, mm. And based on that, he can tell us that the challenges we encountered with getting food is no more going to occur. Mm -hmm. He even mentioned the fact that you can get as many as about 15 joints for fufu alone. Yes, we the so fufu eaters. There is the no fufu need. fufu eaters association of yes. Philadelphia. <laughs> yes, we for. are coming. We salute you, Papa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> there is no need <laughs> for one to carry food all over from no, his no, location no, 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 down no. to the place. Sure, we need a touch of the angel over yes. there. Yes, everything will wow. be fresh wow. and delivered. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this time, there will be no sort of chaos in queues. You have to wait over and over. No. Yes. So please, that is the reason why he doesn't want you to come over yes. to serve as a sort of distraction. Mm, distraction. They want to make sure that everything is put mm. in place mm. uh, and make it perfect. Wow. Even if you are at the location of the town itself mm. please you stay and watch your television mm -hmm. and he's also empowering us to get this information to relations who are even sick mm -hmm. that they don't have to worry themselves just mm -hmm. also watch the television, the television and you are likely to receive your impartation yeah because he has already maintained or has always maintained the fact that distance is no barrier yeah so even to the brother who said he, he could not afford money mm -hmm. to come to church so trying to sort of seek a way of getting support mm -hmm. i'm just telling him that as the adum chidia has already informed us because distance is not a barrier if your faith is increased and you are transformed mm. Mm. it will also transform your finances yeah. yeah so he has to quickly 
mm. position himself well, himself well. And then mm. he will get enough resources to be able mm. to join the nearest Philadelphian group. Mm -hmm. Now, Stephen Adum the mm -hmm. voice of God, mm -hmm. being a shepherd, okay. as we already know, a good shepherd, a good shepherd, <laughs> yeah. exactly, yeah. Yeah. has always made sure that the flock are nourished mm -hmm. they receive comfort mm. and they are also led to the glorious land okay mm -hmm. of the promised land which is the new jerusalem he has set aside 2022 as a year by which he's going to make sure that major projects are developed in almost all the 16 regions mm -hmm. but specifically those on the starting block mm. start from Tichiman, mm -hmm. where we had the opportunity of seeing the plan yeah. and then the sort of work that is ahead of us. Wow. I don't know whether this TV crew could put it on. Yeah, I think jo join the repeat segment yeah. of the sermon. They are then, to telecast it. again, from Tichiman, we also have the opportunity of getting Kumasi also elevated. The headquarters. The headquarters. No size. <laughs> then Accra is also next. Yes. In the pipeline. So, for 2022, yeah, I think uh, we are going to see, see if you can help us with, with a whole uh, lot of the projects. Mm -hmm. And like he has always maintained, it is not a project which is going to force members to go with some sort of uh, offering mm. or levies. Mm or special uh, building contributions. No. It is always... Okay. So, so now, yes. yes. This is Kumasi. Yeah. Let's that is, look at it. Yes, uh -huh. that is Kumasi. The facelift. Yes. Wow. And uh, very soon when you come to Kumasi, you may not even recognize you that. You may not. Is that you <laughs> are at the same place. <laughs> you may not. In fact, this one, you can miss it. It takes only a miracle mm. to have this okay. Mm. And that is why Stephen Adum Chidia, the voice of God, has always maintained that it is only through angelic worship that you will be able to. When I say uh, worship, I'm not talking about we worshiping the angels. angels yeah. But the angels are telling us. to wow. us, serving wow. us. Wow. You always make sure things that you have never ever seen, heard of, which are brand new mm. are the things that you see. This so is very a city soon, within a city. Kumasi city within a city. is going to be transformed. And when we are talking about all these key mm. developments that he has mentioned, mm. the city of Philadelphia mm. will also continue to go through its transformation. Wow. So after 31st, everything still non-stop. Wow. And that is why people have started already... <laughs> pointing fingers at him as to why or how he's been able to acquire so much money mm. to do all these things. Mm. But mm. he is saying that he's still worshipping the same old God. Yeah. Mm. So if Jesus Christ was able to feed the multitude mm. with that few loaf and then fish, then certainly he has come to demonstrate the power of the Holy Spirit. And certainly, Amazing. it is not going to be within, outside his reach. Wow. So whatever wow. we see, we should know that he is just celebrating the anniversary of whatever happens during Jesus Christ's era. Wow. And so, uh, we're going to see this development. Hmm. In fact, I'm so much in love with this and I pray that, hey, uh, as, as <coughs> Ruth said to <laughs> Naomi, Mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. Wherever yeah, you go, go, I will go. Where you sleep, I will sleep. And your God shall be my God. Today, that's my declaration to the voice of God. We are all sleeping here. <laughs> <laughs> You've got yes. nowhere to go. Yeah, look at this. It's so marvelous. It's so marvelous. It's so marvelous. And that for a single man, a single person to mm. have such an insight and project, so what do you say about this? Auntie Dorothy, you are too so mm. amazed. I can see that you can't even talk. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah, all speechless. Speechless, yes. That's the right I'm word. Shocked too. It's not easy. I'm shocked. And it's all brought down to the angelic 
service wow. he has been given. Mm. Why? Because mm -hmm. he has done his part. Mm. So now the heavens have seen it mm. and they are rewarding him. So uh, are so we going to do something like in Chama? Uh, a quota is going to be given to church members <laughs> to do this? Or? Uh, have you ever heard something? Like I, I want to know because someone watching no. me. Yes. So no. Look at what is going on at the Philadelphia city. Uh -huh. hmm. Which church member can come out to say that I have paid 10 CDs to Papa? Mm. Or once the offer asked me to contribute this amount. Mm. He's doing it all alone. Mm. He's the one man, uh, what, financier. Well, so what about uh, projects one man he's doing? To <laughs> Yes. <laughs> one man show. Wow. Wow. All by the help of the good angel. Mm. Because mm. he said, he's, we said something earlier on. He said that the Philadelphia city, he has been there a long time, though we are seeing him in Ghana. Yeah. He's already there. He's already so angels there. are serving him. Wow. Look at the way the branches just got opened. Yeah, just Boom just like that. Up. <laughs> if you go to go and cry, appearing from the soil, it's very difficult like nowadays. Yeah. Nowadays, you didn't even get it after mm. farming. You wouldn't get cocoa <laughs> springing up unless you plant it but yourself. Look at the way but look at the up. whole movement. It's the mm. way it's everywhere. Up. He has even, uh, I think, controlled certain areas. Yes. Other than that, even Akra alone Akra would have alone. had about 10 mm -hmm. or 10. 20. Now he would have had about 30 plus. You in see? Akra. You know Akra. Yes. He has controlled certain things. Yes. And even Kumasi here, if mm. you give them the opportunity. Opportunity. Yes. You, yes. Other branches yes. will become. Yes. You see? It's true. All because he has done his part. Mm. And that is what he was telling the executives. Mm. Mm. And not the executives alone. All of us. All of us. Mm. All of us. That anything that we do, we should put God first. Mm. We should deny ourselves. Mm. Sacrifice for God. Wow. And in the Bible, we say, Who has given me something that I have not repaid the person? Repaid the person. It's there. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's serious. So. This is the, how do you call it? No business for it's him. No business. It's wow. a peanut. Wow. Because wow. it's not his strength. Okay. The Thank angel you. will do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, just let me go to the WhatsApp line and then read some messages. Please, you can also call us. We'll be leaving the says soon. Uh, 20201. One six nine five four one and zero two six six four nine four three eight five. This one says Philadelphia, brother Marco, may the gracious God bless you and your intelligent panelists for throwing more light on the task given to the executives by the voice of God regarding the disbursement of the Holy Fund. It has been very useful. And this from Detective Chief Inspector Godfrey Redu. Detective the Lord bless you. We salute you and then we know that we are all meeting uh, that day. Hmm. Adumo, brother Maradona, finally we see what Christianity ought to be. God bless Papa. Pa is really God sent. Those people who are out there criticizing should rather watch and learn. Yeah. This is what pleases the Lord. God bless you all. Philadelphia. And this is from And this from Essina from Mom Probi in Accra. Mom Probi in Accra. Wow. Mommy Rose in that summer said, hmm, hey, Papa Dom. You are too much creating heaven in Ghana. God <laughs> bless you, Pa. I'm very happy. She calls it heaven hmm. in Ghana. Okay, we have our first caller. Adubo. Hello. Philadelphia. Adubo. Okay, bro, bro, please, you don't know where you're calling from. My name is Nessa. I'm calling from Sampa. Sampa. Okay, thank you very much, brother. Maswa, uh, please, mm -hmm. what have you learned for the voice of God from the ministry of Stephen Adun Chedia? The uh, voice of God. Uh, I, I, want I, to I, uh, I like to say, I said my business to Papa mm -hmm. and my husband, Mom, I did them this evening. Okay, yeah, they are listening to you, please. Yeah, I was in the text and I was asking them. Mm -hmm. I, I asked him, uh, do you say this man? <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. you, you hold on. Uh, when we get there on the, the trip, I will try as much as possible for you to get to him and ask who that person is. It's something that uh, is human imagination. Yes. And uh, I think in God in his own wisdom mm. has given us this man mm -hmm. to prepare us adequately adequately underlined wow so that we will be able to speak to the heaven that Jesus Christ from Israel mm. because all the things that he is doing 
clearly indicate that we are moving and we are moving next to heaven. Wow. All wow. the dedication for his good will, whatever. Everybody who hears this man just admire Jesus Christ in him. Mm. Mm. And people are ready to follow him. You know, if I do some of us, uh -huh. or some of the pastors that you do, yes. it will be like, this is the time that we are going to see we are real human beings. How yes. we are going to keep up a uh, mindset for themselves. For themselves. Wow. Wow. The home. But this man is saying, all that I have is for Jesus Christ and nothing else. Mm. Mm. What do you say this man is? Wow. Uh, 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 we thank Papa. Yes. We thank Amen. Wow. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. Says Adumo, I'm blessed through the teaching of the voice of the voice of God. Uh, well, he he said the voice of the Lord. God bless him more. I'm Doris from Bali. Uh, uh, okay, I think we have our second caller on the line. Adumo. Adumo, Philadelphia. Adesh Kong Kong. Uh, please, your name and where you're calling from. My name is Yodapa. I'm calling you from Second D. Okay, okay. I think I read your message. Yodapa. Yes. Yes, please. Uh -huh. yes, please. Yes. Uh, let's listen to you. What is your impression <laughs> about the voice of God? Uh, as, I, as I send you the message, mm -hmm. I can't always understand this man. Mm -hmm. this man. Yes. Uh, but let me make a remark. Yes, last week. Okay. I became a little bit worried when people are sending messages. Uh, the man should come and I explain. Why? No, 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 no. I ask myself, ah, these people, they don't understand the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Scriptures for the children. As it is here, for the uh, milk. Okay. Uh, milk for the. Uh, no, the scripture says, seek ye first the kingdom. And all of us eat for All children. other things. Oh, wow. Shall we get all the other things shall be added. Mm. Mm. So the, the man has done the first part. Mm. And the blessings are following. Wow. And you, you don't understand it. Wow. Why? No, 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 no. I thank you. Adamara Kwat. Oh, thank you, bro brother Yao. And the Lord bless you for calling. He says, those accents. And then worrying their heads about how he is able to finance such projects. It's just like a baby. You are, you are like baby Christians who are being fed on breast milk. You know, the meat is for the adults. And what is happening is at the level of uh, adults. Okay, let's move on and then uh, we take our, our final submissions. Final submissions are mm -hmm. coming to you. So your remarks on the projects going on in uh, Techiman. That is supposed to uh, take place next year. Yes, Techiman. And, uh, and then... Um, Okay, Adumo. Adumo Rafa. Philadelphia. Adishi Kong Kong. Mekachi. Mama, I think today you are the first woman among them. No, I mean Kachi. Okay, your name. Your name and where you're calling from. Mankesim. Uh huh. And your name, please. I'm a Florence. Okay, okay. Auntie Florence. Please, we are listening to you. Mr. Tandy, you may shut up, Papa. And I'm saying, ah, let the people cry, do not get burned. What is your say? Are you serious, Papa? Jamie, tell me, give them a something. Say, you mean me, 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 no more, so my papa, we powerful. Come on, you dear mouth. No, you eat the mummy while Babo. Mm. And I'm not up your shoe. Mm. No, me, no, 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 Mm. It's me, Papa. We need to know. It's me, Papa. We put on your collection. Papa, we put on your track. Me, Papa, we need to go. We know why it's me catching things. Now, who might you be a mouth? 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Auntie Flores. What am I here? Let me take your words and then please add your, your last submission. No, we'll be coming to uh the dean for for yeah, yeah, this year's thirty first. So your take that. on the project and then you unveil the theme to us. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. You know, it got to a time in the Bible that people were wondering, ah, how come the wonders that is revolving around this man, Jesus? Okay, uh, please let me take our last caller. Let's take our last caller. Adumo. Adumo. Philadelphia. Oh, brother, uh, please, your name and where you're calling from. My name is William. I'm calling from Sekindi, Adembra. Wow, okay. Brother Williams, uh, please, uh, we are listening to you. Yeah. Your impression uh, that you take about the voice of God. Uh huh. Look at that young car. Apart from Dr. Kwame Kumuchi, the DVD. Thank you very much. The Lord bless you for calling. Okay. Uh, so I'm coming to you. L yeah. Let's listen to you. Your impression and then you unveiled it deep. And uh, As I was saying, mm -hmm. I said back in the days mm -hmm. in the Bible, if we were hearing the voice of the Father mm -hmm. through Jesus Christ, and after us, those then were experiencing this miracle signs and wonders mm. and they used to wonder how mm. Mm. come this sort of miracles were happening were happening mm. today the, that same voice is also speaking through mm. Stephen Adum Chidia, the voice of God mm. so we should not be marveled about what we are seeing today mm. Concerning 2022 projects that lies ahead over here in Kumasi and then in Techiman. Techiman. Because Stephen Adun Chedia, the voice of God himself, has said that he has come to demonstrate the power of the Holy Ghost. Serious. So what, what else should we expect? Serious. That which is mind-blowing, mm. that which the heart cannot fathom. Mm. Mm. Those are the things that we should expect. We should expect. Wow. He even said that... Um, if you try to calculate mm. the amount of money being injected or pumped into the, into, work, of into the work of God, in fact, if you don't take care, you, the brain will burst. It's, it's very true. <laughs> yes. It's very true. Yeah, and that is God for you. And the, the, uh, the omnipotent, how powerful, how great, how mighty our God is. That is what Stephen Adunchida, the voice of God, is demonstrating to us. Wow. So we should all believe. Even Jesus said, if you ha because of the words, you never believe mm. with the works. Mm. Try and then believe okay. that Christ is Lord. And he has descended through Stephen Adunchi, that the voice of God okay. in our generation today. Okay. Now, wrapping up, as mm -hmm. you said, yeah, uh, the with the team, yeah. the team for this year's 31st night, mm. from Stephen Adunchi, that the voice of God, the team is... An encounter with the angel of Philadelphia. Wow. An encounter, encounter. with the angel 
of, of Philadelphia. Philadelphia. I think it can be projected for everyone to see. Yes, that's yes. Uh, what you are having on the screen now. An encounter with the angel of Philadelphia. Mm. Mm. Trying to make a little deduction or yeah. open up mm -hmm. certain things from mm -hmm. the team. Mm -hmm. This is an, an encounter. Mm. It means an individual mm -hmm. encounter. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. With the angel of Philadelphia. Wow. And Stephen Adunchi, that the voice of God is also empowering us mm. to meet mm. the angel of Philadelphia. Philadelphia. So please, I implore in all Philadelphians that we should prepare ourselves very mm. well. Mm. Mm. We shouldn't just let go these mysteries that has been unveiled unto us, these words. That has been unveiled to us through Stephen Adum Chedia, the mm. voice of God. Mm. Please, let's all be mindful and then, in fact, um, line up ourselves through the word to meet mm. the angel of Philadelphia. Okay. Because having an encounter with an angel yes. of God from mm. above, mm. your life must be transformed entirely. Mm. Wow. So wow. If, if, you are, if, if you have that opportunity... To just experience just a portion mm. of the heavenly bodies. Mm. When Moses had that opportunity. Mm. Mm. Just for God to show a portion of himself. himself yeah. Moses got transformed entirely. Yeah. From the Mount of Sinai. Mm. Mm. So if we are going to have an encounter. When John in the Bible. John the Revelator the had Revelator. an encounter with the, the angel. Yeah. Let's see what happened to John. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we are going to meet the angel of Philadelphia, in fact, Philadelphians, we are very fortunate. Are very fortunate. But what lies ahead of us is that, please, let's prepare ourselves to meet that task. Okay. Thank you very Through much. Through the word of God, Stephen Adunchi, that the voice of God has been unveiling unto us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Mr. Lekofi, I'm coming to you for your last words. But then, uh, a little bit uh, of this question. Last year, the Philadelphia movement was unveiled. Yeah. Right. So last year, the first night, it was the road to the night uh, uh, to Philadelphia or the night of Philadelphia. The night of Philadelphia. Yes, the Philadelphia. night of Philadelphia. Then, just by unveiling the Philadelphia movement, let's look at the miracles that were recorded this year. Now, a year into it, the theme is an encounter. <laughs> We're going to meet them. So, what hmm. should be our expectation? This year, the first night, and 2022 and beyond. Mm. Right. Um, I think if you are traveling, mm -hmm. your main mi mission is to get to your destination. Your destination, right. Okay. So, whilst in transit, mm -hmm. uh, you don't think of comfort mm -hmm. yeah. because you are walking through a zone of discomfort. But if what we have testified... Mm. 2021, when we are still in transit mm. to go and meet the angel of Philadelphia. Mm. And now, we are going to meet the angel directly. So, it is not a matter of you having a linguist mm. to talk on your behalf. Right now, directly, you have the king of kings and you are pouring down your needs. I'm sure 2022, like he has said, we cannot really be able to estimate. It will be so much gangantuan that mm. it will blow our minds. And to add up, 31st night, because we are going to have an encounter, the expectation mm -hmm. is that in the Bible, we know that the man who stayed by the pool for, I think, 38 years, yeah. mm -hmm. he was Bessala. talking about yeah, the encounter yeah. yes, with angels. That when it got his turn, he was not strong enough to mm. get there. Mm. So, Stephen Adun Chedua, the voice of God, is also telling us that because distance is not a barrier, mm -hmm. the population will be so huge that it will be quite difficult yeah. for him to attend to emergencies. Mm. Mm. Everybody, wherever you are, if you are sick, let us sick be at, at peace. Home. Okay. At home, just let the television be on, yeah. so that he will, the person will also receive as 
it is administered unto us. And this year, he has already prepared us, and I'm sure the last service to empower us is the Thanksgiving one. And okay. after that, we should be equipped with all that we need to be able to receive that glory of God okay. that has been missing or has eluded mankind for so long. Mm -hmm. I think the last time we could praise is that when Jacob encountered an angel mm. and we know the blessings that he went or received. Mm -hmm. So this year we should also make time and make sure we are there. Okay. However, mm -hmm. we should still make sure we don't disobey only of the rules. It is only 31st that you are expected over there mm -hmm. and not any other day. Any other because day. there are people who have made up their plans that no matter what is said, they will come around to just test the waters. Mm -hmm. Please, don't take such a risk. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it is obedient, as the Bible tells us. Obedience is better than sacrifice. sacrifice. So yeah. don't come cause some problems before you try to appease mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. So let us abide by the rule. Okay. And I think when we are through with this, our blessings we will not be able to count come 2022. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, Madam, please, today you are closing us. Your last <laughs> remarks. The last <laughs> remarks. Thank you. What I would say is, if I don't the voice of God, this afternoon said that once you have given him the name the voice of God. Mm. It means you understand yeah. what is going on. You know what you have seen. And for that matter, the CCTV camera is on you wherever you are. Mm -hmm. So you need to lead a pure life, a holy one. So that all that we are talking about, being ushered into the 31st night, having an encounter with the angel, directly boils down to our preparation and our preparedness how are you prepared on your own to meet him mm. i don't think the angel will embrace you when you are in the felt so you should prepare yourself pure in heart mm -hmm. be holy so that you will not what skip it you also get your encounter and that is why he said, once you have accepted that he is the voice of God, whatever he is telling us, empowering us with it, we should go by that and make sure we enjoy the 31st night full of blessings. Other than that, you go there and then come back empty-handed. And he doesn't want that to happen. And I also want to add this. Those of us who will be going there, people I know have made their plans to uh, go and carry the saw we are talking about back home. <laughs> Please don't come with anything to come and carry. Any yes, song. yes, those come with sacks. We are begging you, nobody. Hmm. You know, uh, obedience is better than sacrifice. Yes, yeah. if you didn't know, you no. didn't know. Though yes. ignorance is no excuse, mm -hmm. but if you didn't know, maybe you'll be pardoned. Yeah, you but now that yeah. yes, you have been told, mm. stop it. Okay, and just go there with your pure heart mm. and whatever you need you'll yeah. get it okay thank you very much beloved in christ we, we, we bless god almighty for how far he's brought us and we thank you also for making time with us to so stephen adun the voice of god we salute you papa wherever you are uh we say god which you bless you you never cease to amaze us mm -hmm. and so for uh there's so many questions people are asking who is this man who is this man it is because you have uh, dedicated yourself, you've consecrated yourself and then forsaken yourself for the works of the Lord Most High. We know that indeed God has chosen you for us, for us to emulate your steps and we know that indeed with you ahead of us, leading us, we shall also make it. We thank you so much. And to Owa, Hine, Owa, Bimpon, Ahine, Pankaza, Adun, Chedua, the first. Mama, we salute you. We salute you. We, we bless you for everything that you do for us and for daddy. As uh, Auntie Dorothy said, uh, if it had been some women, some also for mommy, they would have been wrestling, fighting the man of God. Why are you giving everything back to the church? 
you also have a need you you know i have to change my garments mm -hmm. i have to go to spain i have to go to yes but none of these are your buddies whatever you are just in there supporting the man god richly bless you you know most of us or most of our mothers most of our sisters would have failed at this would have failed mm. drastically yeah. so if you are able to excel at this and you continue to support our father we say god which bless you and enlarge your coast to all philadelphia royals worldwide we salute you and we say god which bless you we thank you all for making your minds to study and to learn from the voice of god that we have avoided you see it is it is not by coincidence that you chanced upon Stephen Adunchelia the voice of God because he says that whenever you meet the prophet of God it means your time is up it means you have been appointed and chosen by God Almighty and for that matter you are among the chosen count yourself blessed and count yourself lucky and favored enough among all men you are favored and highly blessed we love you and the voice of God cherish you most that is why everything he does, he has you or uh, attacks. Everything is made for you. To the TV director, the, uh, managers, the crew, and everyone, we salute you. We say, God, will you bless you. We thank everyone for your wonderful words. And we know that indeed, next week, we are going to put our dancing shoes on. We're going to dance our groups on. Yes, yeah, we, are, we are just going to jubilate and sing to the Most High God. Many are the testimony. Many are the greater things that He's done for us. And on uh, the, the first night, we can't just wait to be there. We'll be expecting you all, all over, all over, wherever you are. Let, let's all meet and then have an encounter. You have an encounter with the angel of Philadelphia. Mm. For me, uh, it is one prayer that at least I get to hold him and catch a glimpse of him so that the turning of darkness in me shall be shone away yeah. or washed away. God will you bless you mm. for being with us. We are going to take a word of prayer and then uh, after that we will move away from here. So, uh, Mr. Daniel Kofiosa, please help Let's us. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you this evening. Amen. We thank you for the life you've given us mm. from January up mm. to this point. Amen. It is time, O oh Lord, to show our appreciation to you. Wow. We pray in that, Lord, you consecrate us yes. and make us pure. Yes. So Amen. at the end of the day, whatever we give, O oh Lord, will be acceptable unto you. Yes. We know we don't have the power and authority, but when you give us this grace, we are now going to be available and able to do whatever we need to do. You've always never left us because we prayed in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We say amen to it. Amen. 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 We thank you all for making time to uh, watch us. Uh, we pray thee that you continue to share the program with your friends so that they shall all be taught and blessed. God richly bless you wherever you are. We say bye bye.